Hey YouTube, I'm Mars1952 and I'm splitting some wood today um, and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to test my new Fisker's Mall. I've been using this for about a decade, a monster mall. Seemed like it was a cat's meow at the time. But for those of you that don't like to wait for the details, get this. This is the one you want. Let me zoom in here and split something. We got the Fiskers. This is the biggest one they make, 27 inch handle, I think it says. Although the information I have on it at hand doesn't say how much it weighs or how long it is. This is the um, X27, which I think means 27 inch handle, but I'm not sure. Get a nice long handle. I'm tall, I like long handles. This one, this is a Monster Mall. It's a full 16 pounds. It says right on here someplace. Yeah, 16 pounds. It's, uh, it is a monster and it'll tear, uh, wear you out trying to split stuff. Um, in the past I've split some really big stuff with this though. Now to give it a fair chance, I sharpened it just now. It had gotten pretty dull. So let's, I'm gonna start with the Monster Mall and switch to the Fiskers. Yeah, I worked on the other end of this with the Monster Mall a couple days ago and the Monster Mall just bounced off of it. We'll see if it'll help to be sharp. Okay, that is a load and a half to swing. Very springy wood. I should have mentioned this is black locust that's been dry or cut down and just laying there for four or five years. It does great on the smaller pieces. Now they're just bottomed out and got quite a sting off the handle. Okay, well that was a lot of work. Let me reload. Well, first we'll take these out and see if they're split. And this is a a racing tire that I cut the sidewall out of. There's a dozen people or so that have already posted videos on using the tire to hold your wood. Black locust is a great firewood, but it is hard to split. I think that this might be something else, but I'm not sure. Looks like locust, it's just rotted a little bit. Uh, that's gonna need some more persuasion, I think. I'll just use the other. Well, now we've got to stick with this. Stick with the Monster Mall for this batch. Oh, 
Okay, those are pretty big pieces actually, but I use big pieces and small pieces. All right, now let me reload. Okay, so here we go with the Fiskers. Uh, no two pieces of wood are exactly alike, um, but I try to give the Monstrum all the advantage, to give straighter, straight grain pieces. These things are pretty nasty. So let's see how that works. I should have put a heart rate monitor on because I tell you that Monster Mall gets the old heart pumping. No need to go to the gym today. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I'll tell you one thing you notice right away is you can get more velocity with this thing. A lot more velocity. And when it bottoms out like that, you don't get as much sting on the handle. More velocity and more accuracy. That side has a branch sticking out of it. A lot more accuracy. Now this thing is guaranteed for life, should you ever break it, made in Finland. Now here I'm only swinging about with half power. Right on a knot. Okay, so there you have it. Completely unscientific test. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, here we have uh, some split wood. I have it wedged in here pretty good though. Completely unscientific test, of course. Like I said, you can't get uh, two pieces of wood that are the same. Well, that's, didn't expect that. It was tight in there already and expanded once the uh, once it was split. All right, that should help. Event. One of the things about this is that you can much more accurate. If you want to make smaller pieces, you can. I'll tell you that monster ball, if you try to chip one off the edge, you're going to be disappointed because it uh, you're not going to have the accuracy you want. You're going to have miss or not take off as much as you want. Or I just I like this thing. You guys will like it too. All right, let me get the rest of it cut. I'll see you later, I guess. Oh, one last thing. This is sharp. You can see I've cut the tire a couple times. Uh, you know, tire's free. After I hack it up a little bit, I'll turn it over. And after I hack it up some more, I'll get another one.
a little bit gnarly. Come on. What are you guys doing here? Isn't there some cat video to watch? <laughs> <laughs> 